How you doing, YouTube viewer? Thanks for viewing this video. This is a video diary, a video journal for <coughs> January, yeah, January 10th, 2019. Um, this is a new thing for a blog and uh, whatnot for me. Kind of tell you about my day and uh, about myself a little bit. So right now I am a complete dumbass uh, today, or at least after my work shift. Uh, left my keys in my locker at a wardrobe. So my dumbass has to go back and get my keys so I can uh, go home. Even though I do have a spare key <coughs> hidden in my car or on the outside of my car so I can get in. Uh, but I'm feeling like I need to exercise. Yeah, there's a camera behind me. So uh, just going to uh, go back to wardrobe and get my car keys because I also need my keys to get into my house and whatnot. So my day was actually pretty interesting. Um, if you guys haven't seen my first video, my video diary or journal, podcast, what not, whatever this is, <clears throat> I am a cook for a local theme park. And uh, hopefully I don't get hit by a car. <laughs> it's an employee parking lot, so... Uh, Everybody wants to get the fuck home. So, uh, <clears throat> work for this local theme park. And finally, we didn't have a Christmas party last year. And we finally got the excuse about the uh, reason. It wasn't a good excuse. It was just the winter kicked our ass and this. And it. come on, everybody else had a nice little Christmas gathering at uh, certain places, certain game venues and whatnot, so don't give us an excuse, especially since we are attached to another park restaurant that uh, they had Christmas party. Our managers were uh, the ones that excused us from that gathering. Um, at least that's what I was given as an answer uh, in December or in the beginning of December so we had an appreciation party which uh, was almost as good it was as good as the uh, Christmas party was the last one that I was at um but the uh, gifts that they, or the prizes that we got for the little contest that we were doing, uh, the little egg in the mouth, uh, passing it to the next partner, the next person, got a nice little gift card. They gave us a <clears throat> little um, appreciation cups with uh, candy and uh, movie passes in it so the one thing that was a little irritating was uh, one assistant manager was uh, the one giving the speeches the uh, trivia about all the leadership managers uh, sous chef um, <clears throat> then we also had some good food uh, that the first cook uh, made for us, uh, two first cooks made for us, and uh, I don't know if our sous chef had any insight into it, but it's just a little irritating that our main manager didn't want to praise us for anything. Our uh, assistant manager uh, was praising us. Our sous chef didn't even praise us. And our first, first cook jokingly 
praised us, which he does every day, about thanks for showing up. Do appreciate you for being here, having your wardrobe, everything um, to get the work done. Good work ethics, but it's like, I don't know what it is with our other management, our special manager and sous chef that they forgot their management skills. I mean, managers are supposed to let the younger, and not the younger, the underlings or the lower totem pole people are supposed to make them as a system manager, managers look good. Same thing with the cooks, the cooks, line cooks or whatnot are supposed to make <coughs> the second cooks or first cook and first cooks look good. And the first cooks and sous chefs are supposed to make their executives look good. But I think they need to kind of go back to management school. In my uh, thoughts, my opinions do change. It's not gonna be my opinion. Um, but I did have fun with the games that we had. Um, but it's just certain things that happen. I mean, I was just surprised that there it was an appreciation party. Everybody had teamwork. Uh, it's just I don't see it during our work shifts every day. It's when it's a party. It's a uh, teamwork. But other than that, it's never teamwork. Uh, let's see. The only other stupid incident that I did today, um, <clears throat> which I kind of warned my management and chefs about, um, so I pulled a knife out of the deli, came out of its little ice cream holder, and decided to fall on the ground. And lucky enough, I had thick, thick, socks on and the work pants are pretty sturdy that the knife nicked me twice so it was like a little scratch but I'm glad it wasn't worse <coughs> but I definitely learned not to uh, make sure before I pick up a knife out of the little ice cream scooper to uh, or the ice cream holder where they put the little things like that Thing like that, that you put the ice cream scoops in when you do making ice creams and whatnot. But they never done that before when I used to work here at this restaurant. Um, but I learned not to uh, pick that thing up unless it's cleared. Try not to pick it up in a hurry. Um, but other than that, uh, that was my day. Uh, Hopefully, whoever watches this video gets a somewhat of a learning experience for management and whatnot is uh, your younger or the people that are under you as a manager help them to be better because if they're better, they're going to make you look good for your management and your management is going to promote you and you're going to promote the under <coughs> younglings. Or the entry level people because they're making you look good um, and also just like yesterday's video companies rot from the top down is never from the bottom up so management needs to remember that so thanks for watching my uh, daily video journal whatnot of uh, January 10th 2019. Have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.